Tonight we're getting a look at security camera video of an Inkster man kidnapping a Detroit nurse and later killing her. Jameer Miller is headed to trial in murder and the, in the murder rather in death of 29 year old Patrice Wilson. Sean Lay joins us live tonight. Sean, you have security footage of all the kidnapping playing out. We do, and I want people to pay attention to it because it's absolutely chilling. Rarely you hear we hear about these awful events. Rarely do we see them frame by frame being unfolded right before our very eyes. This happening right over at Detroit Receiving Hospital. You'll remember the case, a young nurse so loved walking out after an overnight shift. This guy, as you can see, in disguise, waiting, hiding, and then attacking. I want to show you never before seen security camera video of a terrifying, deadly domestic violence, kidnapping and murder. You're looking at the outside of Detroit receiving hospital the morning of May 13th. Look at that person lingering around the outside hat on mask over his face and a long blonde wig. Prosecutors and police say that is 36 year old Jameer Miller carrying out his alleged plan to abduct his ex-girlfriend nurse Patrice Wilson. Miller knows where Wilson works. He knows when she gets off from work. He waits and hunts for her. There's Wilson as she's walking out to her car after working all night. He is in hiding and then runs in for his attack. Her attacker speeding away, driving her Lincoln SUV. Wilson was later found stuffed in the trunk of that SUV. She had been shot to death. Another camera at a car wash in Inkster showing Miller getting out of her vehicle, this time no hat, no blonde wig, no mask. He is taking her car through the wash, washing away evidence. The shocking video shown in Judge Kenneth King's 36th District Courtroom for a preliminary exam for Miller. Remarkable video there, Judge King. Now he made it clear there's a mountain of evidence here. We have all that video, also DNA evidence as well. He has moved this case now onto circuit court. He, the boyfriend, will stand trial. In the meantime, you just hoped in a situation like that, a guy lurking around a hospital here in town, that security would have noticed him at least and say, hey, what are you doing? Can we help you? Instead, he had free reign there to go after his victim. Back to you. Yeah, such a disturbing case. Thanks, Sean.